sense. Bro, that was so random. Today we are continuing our Road to Master series where we try to get every single character in Street Fighter 6 to master rank the highest rank in the game and today we are doing that with Luke. I figure for the first episode of every character it makes sense to give like a brief guide slash overview of the character so that you guys if you're planning on learning the character know how to get started and I'm showing you basically how I'm getting started with the character and then we'll hop into some ranked matches do my placement matches maybe a couple more those are actually the most important matches because depending on where you get placed the climb to master may take a lot longer it might be a grind if you start out in gold but in diamond it might not take as long with all that being said just a quick reminder to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already um, and let's get into the uh, Luke overview all right so I've actually played Luke a lot in the demo of Street Fighter 6 the month before uh, the game actually launched so all well, this guy is probably gonna be uh, relatively full I would think um, with the amount of information that I have. So starting with the character as a whole, Luke, I think makes for a pretty good beginner character. Um, I know a lot of people are looking at like him, Ryu, or Ken as like their starter picks for characters. And I think that makes a lot of sense. You know, he's got a fireball, he's got a dragon punch for Yukin. Um, his flash knuckles require a little bit of execution to get the perfect timing. Um, you can charge them all the way. If, uh, if you do them normally, it'll be one hit. If you charge them, it'll be two hits on all three versions, save the light, heavy, and medium. Um, but if you charge it just the right amount of time on each one, it'll say perfect, and this will launch them a little bit higher and give you more juggles. So something like... Uh, this will combo, but if we don't get the perfect on the second one, you'll see they just don't la launch high enough to actually get the follow up. The EX version of his fireball, you can do one more hit, spend a third EX, uh, a third drive gauge bar to do the follow up. His DP, same thing. I normally don't think it's worth it for these follow ups, unless uh, it's probably gonna kill. So probably use these sparingly. And also his EX flash knuckle, if you uh, just press punches in the middle it gives you a DDT which I actually do think is worth it um, if you have a lot of meter uh, because it gives you really good Oki because you can just walk up and throw them in terms of his buttons uh, up close you can do three jabs you can even do a crouching one in the middle go into a light flash knuckle or an EX flash knuckle and in the corner, the EX Flash Knuckle can go into Light Sand Blast into Light DP. His mediums aren't bad for pressuring. I think Crouch Medium Punch is zero on block. Oh, it's actually plus one on block. Um, so this is going to be a plus button where you can just uh, pressure afterwards. So if they mash after it, you can do something like this. His Stand Medium Punch is really good because it's confirmable into his target combo. And his target combo is especially good because not only can it knock down, you get some Oki right here with a dry version to throw. But on the second hit, you can cancel into any super that you want, even level one. So you can do the level one super, you can do level two, or even level three. Um, and this is just a great way to cash out um, if, if you want if you want to get that drive gauge down on your opponent or you know go for the kill. But obviously it's unsafe on block, so you want to try and see that the hit spark hits them and then go for the rest of it. Same thing for his crouching medium kick target combo. I think it's a little bit easier even on the confirm window. And the reason that this target combo is so good. So if you confirm this low, you're actually plus one in their face. You can go for either a jab or a throw um, and just mix them up. Uh, in terms of drive rush combos off of a light, you do jab into crouch fierce. Off of a medium, you can do medium into crouch fierce. Off of a heavy, you can do heavy into heavy like this and it all generally leads to either medium flash knuckle or light flash knuckle depending on if you're close to the corner or not the reason being if you go into medium flash knuckle in the corner they're gonna side switch so you don't want that um so generally you can just drive rush fireball dp if i got the perfect there then this can do fireball heavy dp not sure what the exact extension is if i don't get the perfect Let's go into light DP, I guess. And if you want the actual optimal combo that all the pro players are going to be doing, you want to get the perfect flash knuckle, jump medium punch, 
and then charge uh, the air flash knuckle. And this can go into level one or level two super. So you can see it combos into level one, level two the same way. You can get it pretty consistently. It's a very tricky combo to get initially though. The way you have to do it is you want to delay as long as possible um, into canceling into the flash juggle. So you see how late uh, I'm trying to cancel this one. I just started canceling it and you want to charge it for just a little bit. You want to charge it the whole time because you'll get the wrong uh, flash juggle. You want to charge it just a little bit so it still does the same one. Um, but the later you hit, the higher it'll be and you need them to be pretty high to do this combo. But if you don't mind, a little bit of less damage, you can go for something easy like this. And then I think the normal drive rush combo, which uh, might look a little bit tricky at first, but is actually not, is this one. You go into the overhead for damage, you go into tackle for Oki. Uh, but if they're already in the corner, you can just do the tackle. If you're all the way out of the corner, you would want to go for the tackle. And then you can go for a throw. In terms of drive impact combos in the corner, you can go for suppressor into the charge flash knuckle, into fireball into DP, mid screen if it punish counters. You can just do like crowd fierce. Also on punish counter, this is a thing, so if you want to cash out. Do something like this. Other good things to do, going into heavy fireball is generally pretty safe to do um, because you can't actually drive impact it. So I turn on drive impact for him, I'm going to turn on block, so he's going to drive impact. If I do fierce into fireball, you can see the drive impact doesn't actually punish me and this is pretty universal. It works with like Ryu. Um, and JP as well, I think, and I think Jury as well. The target combo, if you go into Heavy Fireball, will not work, I don't think. Yeah, you'll get Punish Counter, but you can go into the EX Fireball and then go for the Drive Impact. I think because the two hits makes it um, recover a little bit faster. But the main way you're going to be using this target combo, you can either just um, send it out and Drive Rush behind it and, or make it safe with an EX and then Drive Impact back. Or uh, you can just use it for combos. It's not going to combo off of this, like in Street Fighter V, but on counter hit, it will. You can also go into EX Flash Knuckle, to Heavy Flash Knuckle. Uh, in terms of using his supers, uh, his level 1 super blows through fireballs really well. Like that. Doesn't go full screen, but if you're like at this range, you can react pretty um, reasonably. So, fireball. Super. You can't get hit by the fireball, you gotta make sure the first hit nullifies it. Uh, I mentioned the stand medium punch target combo goes into it. This one goes into it. Lots of ways to go into all the supers. The level 2 one, you can do off of EXs, so I like to do this a lot. If you're in the corner, you could do something like this. I don't think it's optimal though. I think the air one would probably still do more. Uh, and then level threes, you just cancel off of any anything. You can do tackle into level three, look forward. You can do fireball into level three. Pretty much anything you want is gonna go into level three. So this is going to be the most versatile way to cash out. So it is generally good to save for level three because it's going to make your life a lot easier when closing out the round. Anyways, that's going to be it for the overview of Luke. So let's take him to ranked uh, and see how we do in our placement matches. I think I can make this come back. Watch, watch. Just wait a second. Okay, we wait a second and then we first drive in back. Do. Okay. Eh. Oh, oh, 
Ooh. 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 Hey, two. Just got it. You guys see how I built my meter at the perfect rate? No, sir. What made you think you could do that? Out too. Uh -oh. What? Bro, that was so random. Diamond! I already knew it. That was kind of obvious. Right, let's play a couple more. That was a good back there. There's a chance. I had enough life. I tried DP. Just going straight into level two. Oh, 
I could have spent more drive rush than drive. I wasn't sure if it would kill. I think it probably would have. Oh, we got a medium kick. Medium kick. That's not so bad. Regular one. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> like by the time I realize it's not the fake one, I can still punish it. Like going a hundred millisecond things. Oh! That's gonna be it for the loot for the day. We got a diamond, pretty much expected since I played him a lot in the demo. All right, so we placed in diamond one with Luke, 19,395 points. Um, pretty, pretty good for our first day. Um, not that I was expecting to do any less since I do have a pretty good amount of experience playing Luke. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the guide slash gameplay. Let me know in the comments how it was. Leave a like if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel. Helps the channel out a lot. And I'll see you later for more Road to Master.